everybody my name is krishna and you are watching my channel krishna singh dev so here we are meeting for class 12 student and the chapter which we are doing is issue of shares the most important chapter and which is found difficult by the student here my work is to make this chapter very easy for you and explain each and con each and every concept in detail Yes, we have already completed couple of classes. In case you have missed those classes, please go and check in the playlist. You should see other videos also because that will help you to understand the concept deeply. What are we going to do in today's video? In today's video, the most important topic is four feature of shares. Yes, we are understanding what is four feature of share and how do we pass the journal entries for four feature of share. So, without getting any further delay, let's get started. understand the meaning of forfeiture first of all forfeiture means what so when i say forfeiture of share forfeiture of share means cancellation of shares so i can say forfeiture is equal to cancellation of shares so why will company do cancellation of shares cancellation of shares means suppose the company has issued let me write cancellation over here cancellation of shares Forfeiture means cancellation of shares and why will company cancel the shares? Because if company has asked the money in various installments like application, allotment and call money and at that time one of the shareholder or couple of shareholders have become defaulty means after application or maybe after allotment any amount after application they have not paid to the company in spite of company giving them notice then company has all the right to cancel their share or in technical terms forfeit their share. So when company forfeits the share whatever money till now shareholder has paid to the company will not be refunded to him for the simple reason because now company has to issue these shares in the market and it will have to look for a shareholder or investor who will buy it privately or maybe company will have to issue the shares at discount so if company has to issue the shares at discount company will be making losses to make that loss good this money which is taken from the previous shareholder or forfeited from the previous shareholder will be utilized so that is why this money is not refunded to the shareholder who has stop paying the amount to company so when we talk about forfeiture or cancellation of shares there are three accounting treatments which we will have to give and this is the most important topic of this chapter because from here pro rata allotment when i was teaching you pro rata allotment at that time also i had told you that is the most important topic and this so blend of these two topics will be asked to you in the exam so pay full attention in today's class so what accounting treatment we will be learning three, three things we will have to learn from here what are these three things first of all we will have to learn the journal of four feature how to pass journal entries for four feature of share four feature of share means cancellation of share we will learn in the first part then the second part is going to be reissue of shares reissue of forfeited shares the shares which are being forfeited by the companies that will be reissued to somewhere else so entries for this are going to be passed and the third part will be transferred to capital reserve so all these three entries you will find in one question transfer to capital reserve is going to be the last part okay so we will be dealing with this first part in today's class where we will understand how to pass the share for feature entry and what are the important points you have to bear in mind while passing the for feature entry so let's understand what is the entry pass at the time of for feature of share so whenever we had issued the share in the lump sum or in installment we had always done share capital equity share capital on the credit side we used to write now now we are cancelling the share that is why the share capital account for the first time will be debited so the entry for forfeiture of share is going to be if these are equity share equity share capital account debit to share forfeiture and to calls in arrear what is call scenarios i haven't taught this topic to you till now so in today's video only i am going to teach what is call scenarios so what is this amount equity share capital account will be debited with the amount called up amount called up means what there is a possibility that company has asked shareholders to pay application money and allotment money the shareholder didn't pay on allotment and immediately after the allotment the shares are being forfeited or in case company 
has two calls but only after the first call non non payment of the money the shareholder shares are being forfeited so in all these cases where partial amount is being asked and after that only the shares are being forfeited you have to write down the amount which is being called up if all the value means the face value of share is being called up by the company then you can write that as well it will depend on the situation given to us so it is always better to write over here the amount called up so you will have a better understanding that whatever amount is being called up whether it is full value of share or a partial amount has to be written over here and obviously it has to be multiplied with number of shares as well now share for future account in share for future ama account wo amount amount that amount which is being paid by the shareholder will come so amount being paid amount received by the company will come amount which is received by the company will come and under calls in arrears account the amount which is not received amount not received is going to come over here okay calls in arrears i am going to take in detail also but along with the question the both concepts i am going to club and teach share for future and calls in arrears also because calls in arrears is a simple topic you will understand it very simply okay so let's take an example and understand it properly how to pass the entry for share for feature in case the shares are uh, the shareholders have not paid the amount so let's say the company had issue 500 shares i'm taking an example you can write along with me 500 shares are issued by company and the amount was getting collected like rupees 2 on application to 2 rupees on application rupees 3 on allotment rupees 5 on first and final call all money received except x who holds 20 shares he failed to pay amount due on final call and his shares were forfeited okay now in this case how are we going to pass the journal entries the journal entries the initial entries are going to remain same there won't be any change in the initial journal entries they will remain same till the time of the final call amount received okay so let's pass the first entry the first entry i am not making the format and writing the narration as in the previous classes also i did because i'm assuming this much you know by now so the first entry is going to be bank account debit to equity share application account if it is equity share you will write equity share if it is preference shares you have to mention preference share so equity share application account is going to come over here 500 shares multiplied by 2 rupees per share so you are going to write down the amount of 1000 over here now in the second entry what do we do we close the equity share application account and we transfer it to share capital so the entry is going to be equity share application account debit to equity share capital and same amount will be transferred if these two entries are done we are ready to go to share allotment account and here the entry is going to be equity share allotment account debit to equity share capital here we are going to multiply 3 rupees because i had taken in my example rupees 3 at the time of allotment so 3 rupees means this is 1500 rupees which is due from the public and we have received money here also so the entry for this is going to be bank account debit to equity share allotment and all 1500 rupees are received now we have reached to first and final call and the entry for first and final call account is equity share first and final call account debit to equity share capital and here the amount was 5 rupees so 5 into 500 2500 was due but here we have to be careful because we are going to learn two new concepts so pay full attention over here student first when i am passing the receiving entry one shareholder who was holding 20 shares look back at the example what i had given you x who had 20 shares he failed to pay this amount so when i write over here bank account debit 
and on the opposite side on the credit side if i write equity share first and final call account and 2500 rupees here what should i write at bank 20 shareholders did not pay me the amount means if i do this it is 480 into 5 so my amount is going to be 5 eights of 40 and 5 fours are 20 so this amount is going to be 2400 this amount is going to be 2400 Okay, means there are shareholders who haven't paid us 10, uh, 100 rupees. What to do? This is X. We know how to write it. So, for this, we open an account which is known as calls in arrears account. So, amount which is not received is known as calls in arrears account and it is an a loss for the company. So, it is a nominal account in nature and it is debited. Here, we are going to write 20 multiplied by 5. So, 20 multiplied by 5 means 100 rupees we have not received. So, this account known as call scenarios account represents the money which is not received by the company from any shareholder on any call or allotment on application obviously call scenarios can't be there. Okay, so this is known as call scenarios account. This account is opened here when the shareholders do not pay. When we forfeit the share, this account is closed. Forfeiture of share means cancellation of share. And now the shareholders' shares are forfeited by the company for non-payment of first and final call. So let's understand what entry will be passed. The entry, same entry what we had learned here, this entry, the same entry we are going to pass over here and we will learn how to fill in the figures also. So the entry is going to be my share capital is going to be debited. See very carefully I am going to write equity share capital. Share capital account going to be debited. Share capital account debit. And on the credit side I have to write two accounts to share capital. Sorry to share for feature. To share four feature account, I am going to write share four feature account and here I am going to write two calls in arrears. And remember what I had written under the brackets, I am writing the same thing over here just for your reference. You need not to write it, just for your reference I am writing. Amount called up, this is what we had written, amount called up. Here we had written amount received. This you have to remember, amount received and amount not received, not received. So, let's understand how to fill in the figure over here. How many shares the shareholders had? 20 shares were held by the shareholder and what was the amount called? All 10 rupees because application, allotment and first call, everything was called by company. So, 20 multiplied by 10, I am going to write 200 rupees over here. How much amount is being paid by the shareholder? The shareholder did not pay, in our case X, did not pay the final call which was 5 rupees. Means 5 rupees is paid by him, application on allotment which was 2 rupees and 3 rupees. So he has paid 5 rupees per share, 20 multiplied by 5 means he has paid us 100 rupees. How much amount is not being paid by him? This we had already calculated over here but just for understanding let's write 20 multiplied by 5 rupees on first and final call means 100 rupees is not being paid by this shareholder. So this is my four feature entry. I hope you are getting it students. Okay, so this way you pass the four feature entry and as I was telling you when we pass the four feature entry this call scenarios account which was opened earlier at the time when the shareholder had not paid the amount now it is going to be closed see this account is closed over here over here if you look this account is closed here okay so this way you are going to pass the entries for four feature of shares and for re, uh, reissue we are not learning in today's class for four feature of shares now let us take one more example with the premium because it is important to know how to pass the four feature entry along with premium or let's do one thing before premium let me take one more example let's say in this at this time we will pass only the four feature entry let's say a holder of 100 shares of x limited did not pay allotment and call money of rupees 5 and his shares were forfeited by the company 
Now, assuming that the face value of share is rupees 10, we will pass the for feature entry. So, in this case, again, the entry is not going to change until unless there is a premium. There will be change in the case of premium, which we are going to learn just now. My entry is going to be equity share allotment. I'm sorry, equity share allotment, equity share capital. For some reason, my razor is not working. Equity share capital account will be debited. Then I am going to write on the credit side two things. Share for feature account and call scenarios account. Again, I am going to fill in the figure first. What amount comes over here? Amount called up. Here I write amount received. And here I write amount not received. So in this case, the shareholder hasn't paid for allotment and call money rupees 5 means assuming that the share is of rupees 5 each 5 rupees is being paid by him so 100 multiplied by 5 500 rupees is being paid by him obviously if 500 rupees are being not paid by him means 5 rupees are being paid by him so 100 multiplied by 5 is calls in arrears which is written here he hasn't paid 5 rupees i'm going to write over here and the number of shares multiplied by the face value or the called up amount of the shares in this case is rupees 1000 so this is how you are going to pass the four feature entry remember that first amount called up in front of equity share capital then in front of share for feature the amount received by the company and in front of call scenarios whatever amount is not paid by the shareholder now if the shares were issued at premium how the for feature entry will be passed the for feature entry will remain same in all the respect which is equity share capital account debit to share for feature and to calls in arrears except one change if the shareholder has not paid the premium money then securities premium is also going to come over here securities premium will be recorded on the debit side because this much money is not received now what i'm going to write in front of these things again here amount called up amount not received in respect of sp security premium because it may be a possibility that he has paid the amount of premium partially and partial amount is not being paid. Let's see how. We'll see in the coming uh, example which I'll give you. Here amount received and below this amount not received. So let's take an example for this and understand. Let's say a shareholder who has 100 shares and face value of share is 10 premium securities premium is rupees 5 shares forfeited Achha, i have to write how the company has asked this amount that i'll write share forfeited for non-payment of allotment money let's say the company asked something like this rupees 2 on application rupees 7 on allotment and remaining on call okay so 7 plus 2 is 9 9 plus 6 is your final call why is 9 plus 6 because the total value of my shares is 15 rupees per share okay now when i pass the journal entry for four feature see what is written over here shares were forfeited for non-payment of allotment money means company didn't ask him for the final call after the allotment only the shares were forfeited on the non-payment so what will be the entry in this case see it very carefully students you are going to write equity share allotment account debit again i'm saying allotment i'm very sorry i don't know why equity share capital account debit now securities premium will also be debited because this shareholder hasn't paid securities premium now you will ask me ma'am where is written securities premium because see over here it is written 7 rupees 7 rupees means it is 2 plus 5 5 rupees of premium is included along with allotment always securities premium account will be debited on the credit side both the same things are going to come share for future and two calls in arrears 
now here what i'm going to write my number of shares my number of shares were 100 and the amount called up very very carefully you look at this what i am going to write over here amount called up company has called two rupees on application and seven rupees on allotment but in two and seven rupees five rupees belongs to securities premium so out of this nine rupees share capital is belonging only 4 rupees so i'm going to write over here only for 4 rupees though company has called up this 2 rupees and company has asked this 7 rupees also but out of this 7 rupees 5 rupees belongs to security premium that is why we cannot write over here as 9 rupees we'll have to write 4 rupees only remaining amount we are going to write over here 5 rupees which belongs to premium so as at the time of receiving also we write it separately at the time of non reset also we have to write it separately so 400 rupees is going to come over here and 500 rupees is going to come over here now out of this how much is being paid by the shareholder it means if the shareholder hasn't paid allotment money it means he has paid only the application money and application money in this case is rupees 2 per share so he has paid 2 rupees only and call scenarios is 7 rupees because he hasn't paid allotment money so allotment money was 7 and 700 is going to be returned over here my entry on the debit side is and credit side is both the side 900 rupees it should tally okay so whenever the issue of share is at premium and the premium amount is not received we will have to write securities premium also on the debit side i hope you are getting this students this concept is not so easy you will require a lot of practice for this and i will also be doing more questions with you to understand this concept very well so that's all for today this is a heavy concept that's why i do not want to make the class very lengthy you can replay this and see and you can pass the entries along with me the first uh, your target for you should be uh, memorizing this entry understanding the concept behind this entry very well so you will never make mistake in passing this entry understand the concept write like how i was writing what is this amount what is this amount and what is learning the entry is not a big task after passing two four times you will be able to write down the entry or memorize it very well but memorizing is not the whole game the game is that understanding the concept that why a particular amount is coming over here so focus more invest more time in understanding we will meet in the next class and yes last but not the least one thing i want to tell you that more most of the people are coming and out of our viewers many many viewers are those who are not our subscribers if you are liking our videos please don't do any conjusi in subscribing to us please do subscribe to my channel and like and share the videos we will meet once again in next class till then bye and have a great day